Hello and welcome. I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today we're going to demystify ISO 55001, a standard that's vital to asset management systems. We'll be breaking down its seven key components and how they relate to your operations. Additionally, I'll be highlighting some resources to help you on your ISO 55000 journey. So, let's get started. Let's dive right into ISO 55001, a standard published by the International Organization for Standard in 2014. This standard is all about the requirements for the establishment, implementation, maintenance, and improvement of an asset management system. So what does an asset management system consist of? According to ESO 55000, there are seven key components. One, organizational context. Two, leadership. Three, planning. Four, support. Five, operation. Six, performance evaluation. And seven, improvement. Let's break these down further. First up, the organizational context. This is essentially the framework of the organization, which includes the primary players or stakeholders and the strategic asset management plan, also known as SAMP. The stakeholders can be both internal and external participants relevant to this AMP. Their participation in decision-making, along with their unique requirements and expectations, must be defined by an organization to meet the criterion of ISO 55000. The SAMP should be a living organism continuously maintaining and improving itself. Next, we have leadership. The organization's top leaders need to demonstrate leadership and commitment to the asset management system. There's a list of 10 topics in the standard that identify the role of leaders and their involvement. Then comes planning. The SAMP must plan beyond action and have a metric to determine the effectiveness of its plan. For instance, the roles and responsibilities of each stakeholder at each level is a documentation requirement. A good plan should consider 11 steps, including addressing the life cycle of assets. On to support. The primary components of support are resources, competence, awareness, communication, information requirements, and documented information. But it's not just about financial considerations. Team members must have documented evidence of their skills, and leadership must periodically review current and future competency needs. Now let's talk about operation. This component of an SAMP displays its holistic features. It outlines the process and controls that are needed for success. Activities considered for outsourcing go through the same rigorous operational process as internal activities. Next in line is performance evaluation. This module should measure asset performance and the performance of the SAMP. There are three categories that define performance evaluations, monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation, internal audits, and management review. Finally, we have improvement. The SAMP should always look to improve assets and asset management. Participants who identify non-conforming activities are to take action to control them and implement steps to correct them. Remember, you don't have to navigate the ISO 55000 journey alone. There are resources available, including consultants and supporting organizations. Some potential vendors for certification support include ABB, an international engineering firm offering ISO 55000 GAP Assessment Bureau Veritas, a global company offering ISO 55000 services, and Swain Smith, an American company with a deep investment and experience in ISO 55000 development. Supporting organizations include the Institute of Asset Management and the American National Standards Institute. These organizations offer professional development programs and comprehensive resources through their members and industry-specific components. Thank you for joining us today. We've covered the seven key components of ISO 55001 and how they can guide your asset management journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For additional resources, visit our website at upkeep.com. We look forward to helping you navigate your asset management journey.